Welcome to the Life Curation Podcast. I'm your host, Andrina Tisi. Together, we will explore thoughts, inspirations, and conversations that feed our soul, spark the mind, and nourish the body. Thank you so much for being here to learn and grow and for walking this journey called life with me. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of the Life Creation Podcast. I'm, as always, really happy you're here. And today is the winter solstice and I already recorded a meditation and ritual kind of episode on the fall equinox and I'm doing the same today and December 21 so winter solstice marks the shortest day and the longest night and two years ago I recorded a episode on also the Raunechte and also got into a little bit of details of the tradition of winter solstice so I will link that episode in the show notes and not go into it too much in details here I did want to mention that the word solstice comes from the word soul which is sun and sistere which means stand still and there is also this thought and belief of the rebirthing of the sun and if the sun has a rebirth nature has a rebirth and we are part of nature so i'd like to guide you through a guided meditation and you know, take a moment, maybe pause and get really comfortable. Of course, if you're driving, then (laughs) pause a little bit longer and do it later. And if you listen to this after the winter solstice, it's okay. (laughs) You can do this, of course, at any moment. Um, Also during this maybe darker time of the year, Um, feel free to do it maybe even more regularly also grab a pen and a paper maybe your journal if you want to light a candle please do so and then just really find a comfortable seat and if it's comfortable for you start to close your eyes And feel free to wiggle your seat a little bit. Maybe you're sitting on a cushion. Maybe you're sitting on a chair. And then just notice your body. Make sure you're warm enough. And feel the movement of your breath without changing anything on the rhythm. Just let the breath breathe you. Softening your jaw a little bit more. Finding softness around your mouth and your lips. And allowing the softness to drop into 
the heart and into the belly. And allow that softness to wash over you. And sometimes when it's darker, we feel this softness maybe also in a vulnerable kind of way. So feel if that is the case for you. Maybe it is and maybe it's not. And I would like to invite you to maybe access or go towards the darker places within you. And maybe that is a tightness in your body. Maybe that's a physical sensation, maybe even a discomfort or a pain that you're not really welcoming, that you rather not have. Or maybe that darker aspect is showing up as fear, anger, anxiety. And maybe it's not so present right now, but maybe you notice emotions, those feelings. And of course, not going all the way, but just acknowledging that these feelings might be present. Maybe the darkness is more on a mental level for you. Where you feel thoughts spiral towards a darker place that is not nourishing and serving you. And in this place of darkness that in the first reflection is not serving, might be serving you really well. Maybe in the discomfort, the pain, the shadow aspect is exactly where we can tap into the light. So in this aspect, in this darkness that you may sense within you, look for that glimmer that glimmer of light 
that wants to be reborn like the sun and maybe it's so small that you can hardly see it that you can hardly feel it and just take your time to find it let it find you And then from that place of light, that little glimmer, let that slowly, slowly with giving it attention, grow a little bit bigger. Letting letting it grow a little bit stronger. And maybe there is an image within you. Maybe you really feel the light in a part of your body. And just allow it to grow. Maybe it's like the rays of the sun that... Like little us go towards and into your entire system and warm up and caress every corner of your body and when I say body I mean the physical body I mean the mental body the emotional body and also the soul body it's on a cellular level it's our nervous system it's our spiritual energy and the spiritual being that we are It all gets nourished from the rays of the sun within you. And the rays of the sun are not pushing away the darkness. They're dancing with the darkness. Just allow all that is within you that's happening in this process to unfold. And also knowing that the darkness only exists with the light. And the light only exists with the darkness. The shadow and the light coexist. Like the night and the day, like the sun and the moon. It's not one or the other it's both and maybe within that that softness can be a little bit more present again festival of the lights 
within you. It's a celebration of the turning in, the seeing and acknowledging the darkness. And in that darkness, we can also then see the light. Noticing your breath, feeling your seat, find more softness around the jaw and the shoulders. This place of softness, also connecting to a sense of peace. Finding and connecting to a peace and the peace is full of trust. for all that has happened and all that has not happened. Trusting that it is exactly how it's supposed to. Trusting that it is for the best for you. And within that knowledge there is even more softness and find the softness again in your belly and in your breath allowing maybe your seat to soften a little bit more be a little bit more of a deeper breath that is still soft and feeling a little bit with more awareness the fall and the rise of the belly and the chest Finding soft and gentle movements in your feet, in your toes, in maybe your hands, your fingers. Maybe you move your head to release your neck. And then when you're ready, you can Open your eyes and grab your pen and your journal. And take a moment to write down what came up for you. I'm not giving you more guidance here. I just invite you to take three to five minutes to just write. Just give it time to let it come through you. Maybe it makes sense, maybe it doesn't. Just let it come from your soul, from your heart, into the pen, onto the paper. Let it speak through you, from your soul, from your body.
happy, happy winter solstice.